A number of staff have approached me to ask how they can take a quiz that is developed in one Blackboard unit and copy it into another. In this eLearning Quick Tip, I'll show you how. So the first thing you do is to start in the unit that contains the existing quiz. You click into that unit, of course. Usually our uh, quizzes are um, arranged in this assessments folder. And let's imagine, for example, that it's this quiz here that we want to copy. Now, in order to do so, we go actually to an area of the left-hand menu under Unit Tools. This is slightly hidden. So we go into Unit Tools. We go into Tests, Surveys and Pools. And we go into Tests. Tests is another name for quizzes. And there we'll see any tests that exist within this uh, Blackboard unit. Now from the drop-down menu here we get some options. We get to export this quiz. And what I suggest you do at this point is export it to your local computer. Indeed what will happen is it will download to your computer and then we'll use that subsequently to upload to the second unit. So I'm choosing export to local computer. It will think about that for a while. It will create a file and it will then download that file to your computer. It's important that you know where your downloads go to. It's usually a folder on your hard drive called downloads. That's how, how mine has been set up. So this is the file that it's created and it's downloaded to my computer. Now that I've got the exported quiz, I now need to toggle into my second Blackboard unit and import it into it. So this is the unit indeed that I want the quiz to be copied into. So here we are. I've gone into another Blackboard unit now. And I'm going to follow the same steps, but almost in reverse. So I go back into Unit Tools, now in the second Blackboard unit. I go into Test Surveys and Pools. I go into Tests. There are some existing uh, tests here, but now I want to import the tests that I had previously exported. So indeed what I'm doing now is to upload that file that I had previously created and downloaded. So here it is, it's in my downloads folder. I select it. It will have the extension .zip and it will include in the file name details about the course that it came from. I've got that. I hit Submit. It will think about this for a little while and then come back with a message. And hopefully you'll get text like this. This operation import has been completed. So we're very close now. We've managed to copy the quiz from one Blackboard unit into another. The final step that we need to do is actually, if you like, deploy the quiz, to place it in a spot for students to undertake the quiz. So what we do is we go into the Assessments folder. It's where I would recommend you place all of your quizzes. There's some existing stuff here, but what I want to do is add a assessment, a test in this instance. And you'll notice in the list here now, I can see that quiz that was entitled Online Quiz. So that's the one that I've copied from another unit. I hit Submit. And I'm now greeted with a page that should be familiar to those that have used quizzes before. It's really where you get to set any description. Notice that this is copied across from the previous unit. Um, things like how many attempts, whether you have a timer, etc, etc. You need to make it pro choices appropriate to you from this screen, but some of them are things like how many attempts you might allow them to have, whether it's one or maybe a number like three, um, whether or not you want a timer to run, etc, etc. So I encourage you just to spend a little bit of time on that screen uh, choosing settings that are appropriate to you. And that's pretty much it.